These are the 10 money-saving tips anthropology doesn't want you to know. I believe nothing should stand in your way from feeling your very best every single day. That's why today I'm giving you 10 money-saving secrets I've learned over the years that are going to help you score the most unbelievable deals on the best fashion at anthropology. So the stores themselves and the online store have two different experiences when it comes to markdowns. It's important to know that for the brick and mortar store locations, not all sales are created equal. So let's break this down. If there are two stores in your area and one of them have a lot of inventory that's not selling versus the other one that happens to have sold through that inventory, they may have a promotion on sale that the other store doesn't. This is why sometimes you can see one store has a 40% off sale and another one in your area doesn't. So my tip here is to be sure to check all stores in your area for the very best deals. Additionally, I've also noticed that when online does a sale on sale promotion, say 25% off, 40% off, even up to 50% off sale sometimes, the stores in your area usually reflect those sales that are done online. And when this happens, just be aware, there's a lot of times things sell out online, but you can still find them in store, even though online may not reflect that. Number two, let's laser in on the return room. Be sure to check the sales room often and thoroughly because each store not only gets different items, but so many returns. So if you go into a store on a Monday and come back on a Friday, this is why you could see an entirely different collection of things on sale. Additionally, like I mentioned in the last tip, Mother Jeans, for example, could be selling great in one area of your town, but in another, no one is buying them. The store then would lightly mark those down where they're not selling. I consistently find a gold mine of high-end brands marked down because I take my time and I go through these one-of-a-kind pieces on the rack, even though it can feel tedious. And taking into consideration tip number one, I check all the stores in my area. Tip number three, Anthro is getting so good at sourcing new and beautiful brands. I've really noticed this over the past year. Anthropology has bought so many unique brands that I personally have never heard of. Because of this though, they aren't always well known and they don't always sell well online or in store. So the tip here is to really start to figure out what are some of the new brands that Anthropology is carrying and to keep your eye on them. A few years ago, not many people knew about Varley. They have grown so much over the last three years but when Anthropology started selling them maybe four or five years ago, I remember there were so many collections of jackets and coats and sweaters that just didn't sell in my store and all went to the clearance room. Some of these brands are quite pricey and it's fun to get a good discount on them eventually. Check the description box below. I'm gonna give you some examples of some of the newer brands Anthropology is currently carrying so you too can keep your eye on them. Number four, some of the bigger brands Anthropology carries could be offered secondhand or elsewhere for a better price. There are many times I'll find some of the denim carried already on sale at other stores. So keep Google in mind for some of the more well-known brands you're shopping. Let's zoom in to great denim. These Mothers, A Gold, J Brands are overpriced on what we should be paying for really good denim. So as we laser into where we can find the best denim deals at Anthropology, I would go right to Pilcrow. Now Pilcrow is a great way to get high quality denim at the most affordable price comparatively to these other designer brands. It is Anthropology's lowest price point denim in the store, and I'm really liking how they're elevating their pieces lately. I recently got a denim shirt, and the quality on it is just so good. By the way, Pilcrow is Anthropology's own exclusive brand. And that leads me on to my next tip. A lot of people don't know that Anthropology have their own lines, not just the tag that says Anthropology, which has grown by leaps and bounds the last few years. Hillcrow is an example of an Anthro brand and a few others are Maeve by Anthropology, that's spelled M-A-E-V-E. -E. Daily Practice, which is a fabulous collection of athleisure and loungewear. 
Beholden, which is their version of beautiful formal wear. And in addition to that, they have a ton of collaborations with brands that are made exclusively for anthropology by popular brands, like Farm Rio has one and Capri Blue. This is so great to all keep in mind when you're shopping because these pieces will be found and available at Anthropology, and the stock is normally really good, which usually means a lot of these things will be first to end up in sale if they don't sell. All right, you ready for the next one? From here on out, the tips just get better and better. There are many times that I found something in my store marked on the tag at a higher price than they actually are. We are talking something that rings up for less than $10. Corey Lynn Coulter pants, for example. I loved these pants for months. They then went to sale, but every time I went to the sale room, they weren't the right size. Finally, I said yes one day because I walked in and my size was there and they actually had like a 40% off the $79 promotion happening. But get this, when I got to the register, these pants rang up for $7. Yes, talk about a natural high, right? This is what we live for. So how do we find these pieces? I've had to really reverse engineer. I've had to do some research and I've had to go right to my sales associates in my store because I want to be able to replicate this tip and I want to make sure you can find a way to replicate this tip as much as possible too when you're shopping anthropology. So here it is. First, online, it might be like a Tuesday at midnight where something gets returned online or it's just not selling. It'll get marked down to like a bottom of the barrel blackout price. Anthropology has lost money at this point, right? Now, in order to find that, I would say it has to probably be often that you're on the sale tab online. And I would just simply sort whatever category you're most interested in on the sale tab lowest price first and just keep going and if you happen to be up at 2 a.m one morning i don't know just say the anthropology gods are updating the website search the anthropology sale tab sorted lowest price to the highest let's talk in the store and this actually was confirmed for me by a sales associate literally i was just in store yesterday because i wanted to really figure this out for us um, cause this is really where the gold is. As I was looking through the sale room, what I found were a couple one of a kind pieces, brands I don't recognize, I've never seen in store before. This sweater I came upon, I have never heard of this brand, but it is quite luxurious. It is totally beautiful. And personally, in my opinion, completely overpriced. Who is paying 600 and something dollars for it? Well, someone did because they returned it to the store. And now the store marked it down to 300 and something dollars. Now I know because I'm a pro deal hunter that this is not going to sell very well. There are very, very few people who A, will know this brand, B, will be able to fit into the size, and C, will ever pay $350 for this sweater, it being mid-January. If someone was going to pay that money, they probably already did back in December in Christmas sales to get like a very high-end expensive wool sweater. So I thought, okay, well, this one-of-a-kind piece is probably the best bet. I know it's an online return. It is a little bit older, so that's the second tip, is it needs to be an older item if you want the best chance of it being marked down even further than it was tagged. And so here we go. I brought it to the register and bam, the sales associate's eyes lit up. She's like, oh my goodness, this is marked down to 179. I know the price is still high. I did not buy the sweater, by the way, but this is how we do it. One of a kind online returns and tend to be older. So they came in in previous seasons and they're still in the store. And that leads me to my next tip. Get to know your store associates for all the insider tips. They help you shop, they help you style, they help you order online, they help you and gladly return the things that you purchase online. And they just love the experience of fashion and style so much across the board. They will become fast friends with you. I have a huge shout out to all of my San Diego stores because these teams are just amazing. Additionally, I have gotten so many insider tips from them on when certain sales would be happening, what to expect for new arrivals, what's new and fitting well, um, and so much more. Like they are, 
fashion pros when it comes to anthropology, and they also love a good deal. Chat it up with them and see what kind of tips they give you every time you go into the stores. If you see this yellow tag on any item in the store, it means the piece was returned from online. Now, sometimes my store does its own separate rack of online returns, and other times I've seen these marked down by literally 50%. So it's super awesome. And when I see pieces in the return room, they are usually unique and worth bringing to the register because sometimes, like we mentioned before, they're marked down even lower than the sale tag says that they are. Next tip, home, beauty, jewelry, and shoes. I find that most of the sales items in these categories are put together with the full price things and most of the time completely missed if you don't know what you're looking for. Now, every anthropology store I've ever been into has different, unique, beautiful layouts, but it's really important that you go into the nooks and the crannies, the corners and the side walls of your stores. You can see in my store, the sale jewelry isn't even labeled, but these markdowns are incredible. Look at the home stuff, all sitting with what's new and now, so take your time and always check the pricing in every section because there can be treasures on clearance and on sale that gets missed because no one knows it's there. Let me just say, if you are still here, you are my people. We need to have a party at an anthropology store. Maybe we launch my blazer at an anthropology store because listen, these tips are gold and they work. Here's your last tip. When it comes to sale, especially online, Good things go fast. I mean, I think that that's just a universal rule for good fashion. I like to keep an eye on my very favorite brands. When any sale pops online, I will search these brands first so I don't miss out on potential markdowns. Some of my favorite brands, well, I'm wearing one right now. I'm, I'm in love with this new sweater. It is NLVT, and this was not on sale, but a slew of their cardigans went on sale over the last sale on sale, which was about two weeks ago and completely sold out. So that's obviously a brand I will always search. The next is Varley, which I've mentioned. Good American, of course. Corey Lynn Culture, for sure. Farm Rio, Scotch and Soda and of course, lots and lots of the designer denim. That does it. Like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, comment below, and I will see you next time. Mwah.